So, we come in and we shim the walls. We've screwed the tub over the top of the tub, the lip of it, screwed it to the walls there, 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 and there. And then we shim the walls out to that and then re screwed them to the existing studs. So now we got this squared up and set. We're removing this. We're going to end up putting a shire valve up here. And then we moved this out against the wall wall out against the tub here there is a little bit of a crack but he's happy with it so and then there's a spot right there that's marked with a mark and that's where he wanted it so that's where it's at so here we go now you can see i've got shims in behind that we're screwed back to the wall again so it's all stable, sturdy. I'm not going to act like a monkey and swing on it because it's there, I promise you. I've got enough three and a half inch screws in it to hold it, hold it. And then down here on the base, we screwed it there, there, and over here. And again, shim the wall out along there and then reattached it. There are some holes that don't have screws in them right there, but we've got this shimmed out to where we can get everything attached. Drain's been put in. We put it around it. We need a little cleanup. But then uh, now he's going to. We got to get another board. And I'll show you why. I'll go back in here again for the tub. And what he's thinking is, see where your tub comes along here, we're going to have glass doors. So there's a board there to grab it. And then on this side, we're not quite there. So he's going to get me another board. I'm going to attach to this one and scab a couple pieces behind it to hold it even with it. And then uh, he'll be ready to put up sheetrock in here. And uh, this will come to a conclusion for the rough end. He's got to get a board so we can span up here so it can put the light up. For whatever reason, they had a big hole. At one time, I'm sure it was a cabinet, a chest, a medicine cabinet up here somewhere. This is the way it's framed in like that. And it had a sink that attached to the wall, it looked like, so. And then these blocks was to keep this from bubbling, this span of drywall. And then in between, you put the plug attached to that. So it's, yeah, you know. Anyway, that's, that's some of the stuff that's got to get done. And uh, some of the stuff we have done. And uh, I'm going to have to take all that out of there. we got new ones to put in. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I'm going to keep them. Because... I've been wanting to make a little paint booth, and uh, I think that would make a good one. And you could put the heat, heat and element part of it to where it blows in, and then have the fan part where it drags it out so it blows hot air in to cure your paint better. Anyway, my thoughts. Anyway, guys, and uh... so now I come out on the back porch. Would you like to have this for a backyard? There's a creek that runs along here, drains out of the pond.
need some cleanup work around there. Get these shrubs cleaned back. This one dead limb, get it tossed. Anyway, this is a paper shell pecan trees. See how the bark's really different here at the bottom? And then look at the bark as you go up. See how it changes? Anyway, that's a big old tree. It's probably close to 30, well, close to 28 foot, 25 foot probably to the Y right here. That's a one big tree. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. So, uh, oh. Anyway, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Hit the like button if you like the content. Subscribe if you ain't have, haven't already, please. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys.